Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The waves of death rose about me. The pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and from His holy temple, He heard my voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins so that we may become less unworthy to participate in this sacred meal. Let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against You. Show us, O Lord, Your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At the time you, O Lord, show me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. 
Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let the witness, the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, to you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, O God who promises day by day. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Please stand. Mapalad ang nag-iingat sa kanyang pusong matapat ng salitang nagbubuhat sa poong Diyos ng liwanag sa tiyagay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and the, and the Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But the, this crowd which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, we heard the prayer of the prophet Jeremiah. And Jeremiah prays to God 
because his life is in danger. The people want to kill him because they could not accept his prophecies. But in the prayer of Jeremiah in our first reading today, he says to God, Let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Hayaan mo makita ko kung paano mo akong ipaghihiganti sa kanila sapagkat sa iyo ako nagtitiwala. My dear brothers and sisters, by saying this, Jeremiah not only put his trust in God, but Jeremiah expressed his belief that it is God who will defend him. Ang Diyos ang magtatanggol sa Kanya. And this is also something that we see in our Gospel today. Today's Gospel is about the reaction of different people to Jesus. Some consider Jesus as a prophet. Some consider Jesus as the Christ, as the Messiah. And the guards who were sent by the chief priests and the Pharisees to arrest Jesus did not do so because they were amazed, they were awed by how Jesus speaks. That is why when they were asked by the chief priests and the Pharisees, why did you not arrest him? Why did you not bring him in? The guard said, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. Kahit na yung mga taong huhuli kay Jesus, humanga kay Jesus. Kaya hindi nila dinakip si Jesus. Jesus did not do anything. God the Father defended and protected Him. My dear brothers and sisters, like Jeremiah and like Jesus, our life is also in constant danger. There are many threats to our life. And especially now, in the context of this pandemic, our life, our health are in danger. Lalong-lalo na sa tumataas at dumadaming cases ngayon, kailangan-kailangan talaga tayong mag-ingat, mapanganib ang virus. The pandemic has also threatened our economy. Many people are suffering in poverty and in hunger. And there are many other things connected or not to the pandemic that threaten our life as individuals and as a society. Maraming panganib, katulad na kinaharap ni Prophet Jeremiah at ni Jesus. But the invitation for us today is, in the face of these threats, in the face of these dangers, let us always put our trust in God. Because in the end, it will be God who will defend us. Ni hindi natin kailangang ipagtanggol o ipaglaban o ingatan ng ating sarili. Ang Diyos ang siyang magtatanggol sa atin. Ang Diyos ang siyang mag-iingat sa atin. Ang Diyos ang siyang magliligtas sa atin. If we only put our trust in Him, if we only believe that He is our God, that He is our Savior, then we do not have to rely on anyone else but on Him alone. In the experience of the prophet of the people of Israel, 
Moses said to them as they were journeying in the desert, The Lord will fight for you. You only have to keep still. Ang Diyos ang siyang lalaban para sa iyo. Pumanatag ka lamang. My dear brothers and sisters, let us trust in God. For after all, He is our Savior. We do not save ourselves. God will save us. Please stand. Let us pray to our Father that he, he shows us the way to Christ, who is our way, truth, and life. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that those in authority may be guided by the spirit of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that courage may be given to those who spread the gospel message everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that rich nations may be generous to poor nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the sick, the prisoners, the elderly, and the handicapped may be strengthened by God's consoling words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the faithful departed may enjoy the promised everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, stay with us through your Son, and let him be our way, our truth, and our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray with these oblations you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defiant, Constrain them mercifully to turn to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim 
Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Faithfully yours until the end to your mission, Lord.